Payment on behalf of the one known as Nova. Give me the goods and I'll give you the slip. Easy peasy. Stop right there, folks. You want to learn about custom orders, right? But don't answer, unless that answer is yes. Try once and you'll get hooked. I'll give you the materials and everything. Don't be so pushy. Are you afraid of boats? Hey, 
you're all okay. It's the informant lady. I'm Jolene, remember? I just feel horrible about what happened. I don't suppose I could bribe my way back into your good graces. What are these? Winged boots. Just a little something something to lighten your load and make you love me again. What are you talking about? <laughs> a star reporter like you ought to be able to figure it out. By the way, an agent from Spurious is staying at the inn here. Toodles! Maybe she should be a reporter. Just kidding! What do you want? Uh, uh. Where does it hurt? I'm a doctor. We've confirmed your arrival at Aladi Sea Haven. Recover the data from the pursuit agent and return to Company HQ. Sorry about that. Here's the data. But these poor people... Recovering the data is your top priority. Bring it to HQ immediately. What's so special about it? It's a copy of all the fractured dimension data that the former director Kresnik had collected and analyzed. Huh? Fractured dimension? So you had a run-in with Julius? Yes. We had him outnumbered ten to one, and yet he still decimated us. But at least we got the data off him. Get it back to HQ. It'll really help us improve our ability to detect waymarkers. You all go on ahead. I'll take care of these people. Need a hand, Princess? I prefer the company of Rowan, thank you. This old geezer would be honored to help, young mistress. <laughs> Good thing I have thick skin. Beat up his former co-workers, huh? I want to believe he had a good reason, but... Ugh.
We've been expecting you, Mr. Kresnik. Please deliver the item in question directly to the CEO himself. Look at this place! It's so big and pretty! Indoor voice, Leia. Who are these people? My friends. I believe only Mr. Kresnik was invited. I'm Luger's friend, and advisor. And I'm the acting guardian of these miners. I'm acting guardian number two. And I'm... I'm... Acting guardian of this kitty! One moment, please. Acting guardian number two, huh? Look who's talking! All of you may enter. Mr. Bakur is most impressed by the loyalty you engender in others, Mr. Kresnik. Luger, I've been waiting for you. Thanks. Any leads on your brother's whereabouts? Well, as it turns out, I have news for you of both varieties. Good and bad. Which one first? Let's start with the good news. I would like to recruit you as an agent in our corporation. Huh? Don't act so surprised. It makes perfect sense. I've been keeping my eye on you this whole time. You never back down from difficult situations. More importantly, you have the strength to face them. 
I'd wager you've been doing more than just keeping an eye on him. You've been testing Luger. You can't get the true measure of a man by observing from a distance. You said there was bad news, too. Mr. Kresnik's going on the police's most wanted list. So they're gonna throw Luger in jail? Your life's about to get a lot tougher. But if you become one of my agents, I'll keep the police off your back, even if I have to get pushy. He doesn't even have a choice. This is blackmail. I failed to mention that an agent's salary is considerable. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. You can avoid arrest and pay off that massive loan almost overnight, provided you show me results, of course. <gasps> what kind of results? No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? Think of this flower as our prime dimension, a world where history flows in a way that's familiar to us. But it's not the only blossom. There are offshoots. When one of these appears, it disperses soul energy from the prime dimension. Our dimension, in other words. Wait, it disperses? That can't be good. And what happens if we don't do anything about it? Ultimately, souls will vanish from the prime dimension. Of course, this means humans will die out as well. Whoa, whoa, time out. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. Olympias going dry. The failure of spyrite technology. What if I were to tell you those effects were caused by the loss of soul energy from the prime dimension? It can't be true. Oh, but it is. <sighs> Spirius has been working to save our world by eliminating its counterparts in the fractured dimensions. How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <sighs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate and destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. No fair! I have no idea what everybody's talking about! Luger, for the sake of this world, the true world, you must help us. All right. Don't let me down. You're officially a DOD agent of Spirius. <sighs> One thing I still don't get. What's causing these fractured dimensions? It's not a what, it's a who. A great spirit of Canaan. Kronos. The land of Canaan? Another great spirit? There is nothing to fear. We have in our possession the power needed to oppose him. Come to the underground training area, and I will show you how to wield it. I have to admit, being an agent for the Spirius Corporation is kind of a big deal. But are you sure about this? Not really. Thought so. But if the CEO says you can handle it, that's a big thumbs up. I mean, my editor will barely let me take down a classified ad. This could be your big chance to make it big. Ugh, what reporter uses big twice in one sentence? <laughs> 